This micro talk is part of a mini series on greenwashing. We encourage you to watch the entire mini series on our blog. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is James Taylor and I'm a debt capital markets partner of Mayor Brown located in the London office. In recent years, the volume of green, social and sustainable bonds issued into the markets has increased exponentially. And I found myself assisting many clients navigate the complex ESG legislative landscape and the detailed mandatory ESG disclosure regimes applicable to their businesses. These mandatory requirements raise regulatory risks for in-scope businesses, especially if they're found to be misrepresenting their green credentials or communicating financial promotions of other companies that are doing so. In other words, they're found to be greenwashing. But the risks also include reputational risks for the parties involved and potentially litigation risk and exposures for all. I'll touch on some of these items in this short micro talk. So the obvious starting point here is what is greenwashing? And here there is no harmonized definition. The United Kingdom Financial Conduct Authority or FCA has defined greenwashing as marketing that portrays an organization's products, activities or policies as producing positive environmental outcomes when this is not the case. Whilst in the EU, by comparison, the European Securities and Markets Authority or ESMA has developed with other key European regulators a common high level understanding that greenwashing is a practice where sustainability related statements, declarations, actions or communications do not clearly and fairly reflect the underlying sustainability profile of an entity, a financial product or service. So at its core then, greenwashing is fundamentally about misrepresentation, misstatement and misleading practices in relation to environmental credentials. I would like to thank you for joining me and if you would like to know more, there is a lot more detail on our free writings and perspectives blog as well as on our Eye on ESG blog. All the very best, thank you.